everyone, my name is Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny and thank you for joining me today in my video which is sharing my January Sew Hayley Jane box. I also do have just a little thing I want to share um, at the beginning as well because I got sent a lovely gift from one of my followers so I thought I would share that with you as well. So yes, I just want to start off actually by saying thank you so much to everyone who commented on my last video about me having a little break um, from sewing and getting myself sort of tidy and organised so that um, I've got more sort of headspace um, to kind of feel like I'm more comfortable like with my sewing. Um, I really appreciated everyone's comments and um, it's really nice to know actually that so many of you were feeling the same as well. It's always reassuring um, and yeah I have started um, with my wardrobe um, organisation and tidy up. I'm kind of halfway through-ish <laughs> so I've already got rid of a whole load of ready to wear um, and I've just got my me maids um, that I'm just kind of sorting out a few to give away to um, like friends and family so um, and then the remainder of them going to charity I'm kind of doing like a, a one cleanse and then I'm going to go back once I've kind of got rid of that and just reassess again because I've still got a lot of stuff <laughs> um, when you actually kind of look at it it's yeah there is a lot of things and I've already got quite a lot of bags already which is uh yeah, it's not good, but I haven't done a wardrobe tidy for whew, two years. So I've got a lot of uh, stuff in there. But anyway, <laughs> um, yes, again, thank you so much for everyone that watched my last video. So before I open my So Hayley Jane box, well, I've already opened it um, to share it with you. Um, so I'm just going to share with you actually something that um, one of my lovely watchers, Amy, sent me. I received it this morning and... Um, um, Stuart, my husband, um, saw the postman come up to the um, mm. the door and he said, oh, you've got a letter. And then he had a look and he's like, it's from the States. <laughs> he goes, what's this? Who's sending you stuff from the States? And I was like, oh, yeah, I remember there was a lady who messaged me asking if she could send me something. And, um, and he was like, oh, let me see what it is as well. And so he opened it with me. And um, yeah, he loved what was inside as well it actually made Stuart really smile because um, I'll show you what, what it is um, but yeah it's lovely Amy so thank you so much if you're watching Amy it's so so nice to receive that this morning so um, she sent me a lovely card and I do have to say when she sealed the card she used washi tape I love sealing cards with washi tape I just think it's a really nice sort of decorative sort of finish it also means that you know you don't have to rely on when you have to lick an envelope and everything and it was really nice washi tape I just I saved um, a little bit of it because it had like these little sort of like corgi type dogs on there and then it had like little bows like a sort of like sweet things like ice creams and things like that and uh, yeah, it was just so nice having that sort of little extra detail and then a card. <laughs> How cute is this? <laughs> Little Audrey Hepburn cat. <laughs> I love that. Um, and then she wrote a lovely little message on the inside. And then, oh my goodness, so beautiful. Um, so Amy has made me a patchwork coaster. And this won't be a coaster. I cannot put a cup on it. It would just seem complete and utter sacrilege to put a cup on it. Um, it is this. It's a little cat coaster. <laughs> and it's got all these little cats on. And she did mention in her message that we've got like little misty cat little bits there as well. And the little red bits are meant to represent Bentley as well. So kind of like that black and red combo so pretty and on the back she's done her own little label to say that she's made it and oh, it's just so pretty I absolutely love it and so instead of using it as a coaster I'm going to probably put like a little um little bit of thread or something through the top and I'm going to actually hang it um somewhere in my sewing room once I've got it all organized I'm going to find a lovely little place to hang that um because I just think it's so so pretty and then also inside, she sent me some stickers. And I have to admit, these made Stuart laugh. He loved these. Um, <laughs> it is some what I call Bentley stickers. So we've got 
a little cat in the cookie jar having a little nap. We've got um, eating popcorn and having a drink. Oh, so cute. I love this one. Um, this one is um, a little Bentley cat with um, curled up in yarn. And then this was Stuart's favourite because Bentley actually has done this. Um, <laughs> it is a little cat in um, a little bag ready to go. Yes, take me with you. Bentley quite often rolls on his back um, and exposes his tummy quite a lot. If you've seen Vlogmas, you'll you'll know what I mean. And when we've gone away for like sort of weekends or things like that, um, yeah, he's tries to get in the bag. So <laughs> that was lovely. So thank you so much, Amy, again. That was so, so thoughtful and so kind. Thank you. Oh, quick sip of tea. So on to the So Haley Jane box. So I have already opened it um, and it does come with um, the wrap on there saying unbox your sojo <laughs> and um, I'll just open up the box for you and you can see what it looks like when you first open it. There we go, all that yellow tissue paper. So I'm pretty sure most of you probably are fully aware of um, the So Haley Jane subscription boxes, but if you're not, then I will link um, the So Haley Jane website down below where you can have a look. Um, there are three different levels of the subscription. You can get a mini box, classic box or luxury box. They vary in price, vary in lengths or types of fabrics. Um, so yeah, go and have a look. And if you do want 10% off your first box, if you use the code Michelle10 at checkout, you'll get 10% off your first box and I get a teeny bit of commission for doing that. So I am um, subscribed to the classic box, which I pay for. And um, yeah, I just thought I would share that with you now. So underneath the lovely yellow tissue paper, we have got all the goodies. And I'll first off show you the magazine because every box um, has a theme. And the theme this month is, I love this, rest. <laughs> I love that. It's such a nice one, I think, for January because you've had Christmas, you've had New Year, which is, I'm sure, for a lot of people, extremely busy. And so uh, a lovely little box just to have a nice, relaxing, restful time. Really, really like that. So we start off with um, an introduction from the lovely Hayley herself here, and she explains about what's inside the box, um, what fabric um, it is. Um, in the luxury box, you get like a different fabric, so she explains what's in there. There's also a pattern in the luxury box as well. Just going through all of those things um, on there, and also who won the £15 fold line voucher, because if you share your um, unboxing ritual, um, over on Instagram then you can win a £15 um, voucher and I know who's won it and I'm really happy with this person has won that voucher so um, yeah I uh, thought that was really really nice to have that every month that you can win £15 worth of vouchers towards the fold line. Then we've got an interview with um, Ginger Doodles. Now, I do remember Ginger Doodles did a, um, a little print for us in a box ages ago now I think it's probably one of the early boxes I think that I received which is actually this one it's like all these like sort of sewing sort of notions but made to look like a little sundae which I thought was really clever um and yeah ginger doodles has popped something in the box this month then we have a make of the month and this is um uh Quita. I'm hoping I've pronounced that correctly. Apologies if you're watching and you're like, nope, that's not how you pronounce my name. <laughs> uh, so yes, Quita has made the honey blouse um, in this beautiful sort of like checkered fabric that we got um, recently. I think, it was it in our December box? Or was it the December box? I think it might have been. And um, yeah, that's really, really pretty. I have to admit, I would like to make the honey blouse. I really like the collar detail with the little frill I think it's really pretty because I don't like anything too big on the collar, but I just think that's a really nice detail. And then we've got um, a little uh, bit here about some patterns. This is about Hayley saying about, um, you know, doing some um, like resolutions or resolutions, um, which is maybe kind of like upskilling and, um, you know, these patterns, you know, maybe are a bit more involved and might kind of help um, if you want to, you know, challenge yourself um, this year. 
Um, then we've got three boxes, three makes. I won't show you um, the mini and classic box ones because otherwise it will give away what fabric it is. <laughs> um, but this is where three ladies get given one of the boxes, the mini, the classic and the luxury. And they make something ahead of the boxes going out to give you some inspiration. So Esther was given the mini box and she has made um, the Megan Nielsen um, Rowan tee from the fabric. So I might kind of give you a little bit of a clue as to what the fabric type might be. <laughs> I can show you Gemma though, because she had the luxury box. So she had a different fabric to the one I've got. This is um, um, a uh, viscose, sorry, just had to check. <laughs> yes, it was a viscose. Um, it's a rooted, um, I'm not sure if I know of that designer, um, but yeah, it's um, a lovely viscose and she made a jumpsuit. And it's really pretty blue and it looks like it's kind of got like these sort of feathers kind of in the fabric it looks really really pretty and um, yeah this was the uh, nina lee carmel jumpsuit um that she made from that and then laura who had the classic box so that's the one that i've got um she made um the tilly and the buttons nora top from her fabric then we've got uh, Tamlin from Sewn on the Tie and her Fat Quarter project. This I love. Um, it's little um, bookmark um, what, um, things. So the like the page bookmarks, that's kind of what I meant. I have to admit, I do like those sort of bookmarks. Um, not that I actually read that many books now. I used to love reading. I used to always have books around. Then when I was kind of getting too many books, I then changed to um, an e-reader, like a Kindle. Um, and then I just found that I just didn't have the time to read. I've got so many hobbies. Um, so I just don't have time to read. So now I am um, an audible girl. <laughs> I love an audio book and it just means that I can on the way uh, to and from work, it's about a 45 minute drive to work and obviously 45 minutes back. So it means I get an hour and a half worth of uh, sort of reading on um, the audio book when I'm driving. So anyway, off on a tangent. Um, but if you do like books and you um, want a bookmark, then Tamlin um, gives you all the instructions on how to make it using um, any fat quarters you want or any scrap bits of fabric. Um, but she shows you how to make them from the fabric quarters in this box. Then we've got a little bit um, about Merchant and Mills. I will just cover up um, with giving you like a discount code. Um, but yeah, this um, pattern I believe is in the luxury box, which is the pajamas. Um, I'm not sure if they've got an actual name. The Winnie pajamas, that's what they're called. They look really nice actually, really nice and like oversized, nice and cozy. We've got the Makers Gallery, so lots of um, inspiration from the sewing community. It's really nice to see Adele from um, Sofa of Serenity in there. Um, it's always nice when I recognise people um, from that. <laughs> and then we've got Cordelia, who is the So Holy Jane subscriber profile. Beautiful pictures with her Christmas tree. Lovely, really pretty. And again, that fabric. Um, which is that checkered fabric, which I think she's made, is it the Davenport? I think it was, yes, it was the Davenport um, from that one, really, really pretty, love that one. And we've also got pattern picks from the fold line, so again, just really nice, relaxed sort of ones here. So we've got like a dressing gown, got some pajamas, um, a little uh, tankard brief sort of set as well. So you can kind of, guess sort of what the fabric potentially could be. Um, Hayley's little links, I always like this. So about what she's watching, reading, and um, also sharing about um, what she's doing on her YouTube channel as well. And then um, what's in the box tells you what's in all of the different boxes, the mini, the classic, and the luxury. And if you want to make any notes or anything like that, that's the magazine. So on to the goodies. So first off, um, there is two sort of sweet treats, I guess, in here. First off being one of these. Now, <laughs> I love these biscuits. And actually, I got given 300 of these individually wrapped biscuits as a Christmas present. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's my Christmas present from the cats. <laughs> 
and they um, uh, got me 300 of these. I came in a massive box. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get through all 300, but I have been taking handfuls into work and kind of sharing them around so that when people have their tea or coffee that, um, that they can have some because yeah, I don't think I'm going to get through all 300. I mean, I could, but it's probably not um, good for me to have that many. But uh, yeah, so I'm very popular at work now that um, I'm bringing handfuls of these in. So that really made me smile having um, an extra one in the box. Also, we did have um, a tea, which actually I made um, prior to um, the video. This is a pucker tea. This is Peace. Um, and I think I've ripped off the top, um, actually, where it said what was actually in um, the tea. But I think it was something like spearmint and like hemp oil or something like that. I've got, oh, I can't, can't quite remember, but it's really, really nice, really delicate, um, really nice tea. And as you guys know, I love tea. So I was very happy that there was a tea bag in the box. Oh, very nice. And I will eat that very, very shortly with it. <laughs> um, then from the Ginger Doodles, I said that they put in a print um, a while back in the box. We've now got another print, which is really nice because it is like a little sort of like bookmark. Really, really nice. Again, I think it's that kind of relaxing sort of, you know, chilling out on your own with a book. Um, and it's this lovely print here really really nice so that um well i'll probably i probably won't use it as a bookmark as i say i don't really um read books that often now but i do have my little wall um on the side of my calyx unit which i kind of stick things to and i think that might be nice to have like a little picture on there rather than use it as a bookmark and then we've got a little notion we've got some needle threaders these lovely little ones with these little like floral things on there um and then the fat quarters these are really nice fat quarters. Uh, we have um, ones that are kind of, again, it's just relaxation. And what better way to um, relax than having some plants around? So we've got lots of plants, house plants, little greenhouse there, little watering can, all of that there. And it's got some nice little sayings on, um, like home jungle, urban jungle, welcome to the jungle. Uh, so if you like your house plants, then that's a really, really nice one. Probably be nice actually to make a little um, a plant pot sort of cover actually in these. And then you can pop your plant pot sort of inside. Um, so a little bit of extra decoration. This one as well, it's got lots of um, plants on. Uh, so love is growing here, green vibes. Um, urban jungle, home sweet home, home is where your heart is, all of that sort of stuff written on there, which is lovely. This one is really pretty as well. This is lots of plants again. I love the dark um, blue background with all like the shelving, uh, with all the plants, that one, really, really like that one. And this one is, um, it's actually, it doesn't, doesn't go as much, I don't think, with these, but it's a really pretty one with these um, lovely little um, designs on. Really, really nice. And the background is like a sort of pinky, sort of rosy pink, I guess. And then you've got these lovely blues and oranges. I love blue and orange. Um, so yeah, that's really, really pretty, that one. And then on to the fabric. So um, I'll show you the thread because you get a thread that matches your fabric every um, month. And it is this one. So you can see it's kind of like an off-white, a slightly peachy, creamy sort of colour. This is Gutmann at 414, if you want to know the colour. And the fabric is, oh, I love it. Let me just take it out of the box, box on the floor. It is this. I really, really like it. It is a pointelle, which Hayley mentions in the magazine that actually she hasn't done a pointelle in um, the boxes before. I do have some pointel in my stash. Um, I think I've got like a sort of rusty orange, um, but this is so much fun. I love it. Now, if you're not familiar with pointel, let me bring it close. Can you see it's got these little diamondy sort of holes in it? Now it is a 100% um, cotton um, fabric pointel. So it has stretch, but it's more of like a natural stretch, more than like a lasting sort of stretch. 
So if I open it to the single layer, you can see it there. It does have lots and lots of stretch, but it's the way it's kind of knitted together, I guess. You can see on the back, it's sort of knitted together there, but it's kind of um, like it's natural stretch. I hope that kind of makes sense. So it doesn't have a great deal of bounce back. So, I mean, it does bounce back. Can you see it's still quite, it can get a little bit um, loose. Now that's not a bad thing because with this fabric, this fabric is mainly used for looser fittings or garments, or quite often it is used as um, sort of like a thermal layer quite often as well, because it is meant to be that cotton that's meant to keep you nice and warm. So this is absolutely perfect for making thermals or pyjamas or underwear, sort of, you know, like little cami tops, things like that. And so that is what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to make myself a set of pyjamas and I think I'm going to make myself a little cami top and some full length um, sort of um, bottoms with it because it's so fun. I love the animal print on it. I think it's so nice, so fun. And it was just going to be such a lovely fabric. So, yes, I'm really, really pleased with that. And I get two and a half metres. So I've got absolutely tons to play with. Because usually, I think with jersey, you don't tend to use like as much as you would like viscose or cotton. Um, and so it's really nice that she puts a whole two and a half metres of like a knit fabric in. Um, so, yes, it's going to be pyjamas. I think a lot of people are probably going to make pyjamas um, or something like that out of this fabric. But it's so fun, isn't it? I love it. Really, really nice. Right. So that was everything from the January So Holy Jane box. I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know if you got the box, what you think you're going to make with the fabric. I'd love to know. And yes, I will speak to you very, very soon in my next video. Take care. Bye.